kind of ventured away from our normal out and about Columbus show. And we got together what we call out on the town. We actually got to go out and take some of our viewers with us and enjoy an evening on the town. And you know, it was all to benefit Toys for Tots. night out on the Urban Express bus with our first stop, the Fantasy of Lights at Alum Creek State Park. We were amazed at the beauty of over 1 million lights in more than 150 holiday-themed light displays. After taking in the glorious light show, we drove down 315 to Champs Americana at Lenox. Mike met with Will Myers, who told us about their holiday hours and seasonal specials. Well, welcome down to about Columbus and our out and about night that we're doing tonight. You know what's cool about Champs is you guys never close, do you? No, we're open uh, all the holidays, all the major holidays, 365 days a year. Um, we're going to be open from 11 to 5 Christmas Eve and um, 4 to 10 Christmas Day. And then New Year's Eve, normal hours, 11 a.m. to 1 in the morning and same with New Year's Day. There's always something going on at Champs. That's what's really cool about this place. Yeah. And you guys have some great drink specials. Let's talk a little bit about that. Right. So um, happy hours from 3.30 to 6.30 every um, weekday. So we've got a lot of $5 drinks. And um, Wednesday night we do trivia at 9 o'clock. Um, and then Thursday night, this is the place to be. It's every draft is uh, 2.25. One of the things that's neat about this place is that you got so many TV screens here. You come here, like, yeah. you, you, you've got every every seat's a good seat in the house. Yeah, there's there's always a game to watch here. There's always something to watch. We, um, we get it linked up with the music and everything, so it's a great place to be. You know, if you haven't visited Champs before, how would you describe the food? What, what kind of food do you have here? I would describe us as an upscale sports bar. You know, it's the sports bar atmosphere with uh, a lot better food than you would find at most bar atmospheres. What, what, what's the hottest item? I mean, you, you serve a lot around here. What, what does everybody order? Oh, the nachos, the mile-high nachos. Once you see them, you'll know why we call them mile-high. They're big plate of nachos. <laughs> this, that's most, our most popular thing. You know, I always love the hamburgers here. They, they are fabulous. And you know, one of the things you guys got rid of for a while and you brought back was the waffle fries. Oh, yeah. Yeah, people love the waffle fries. We got a lot of complaints when uh, when those went away. But we started out as a burger joint, so people love our burgers. I love them myself. They're very popular. How do we get more information about Champs, your holiday hours, so we know what's your holiday hours and where to go? You can go online. We have our website, um, and they're posted everywhere, you know, champs.com. Fantastic, man. Thanks, Will, for being on the show. Thank you very much. If you've missed any of today's show, you can watch it online anytime, onacolumbus.com. For the latest information about the show and exclusive behind-the-scenes content, follow us on Twitter. That's at onacbus or twitter.com forward slash onacbus. Once the party filled up on cocktails and appetizers at Champs, we loaded the bus to head for Raphael's studio in Clintonville. Their wonderful staff greeted us with many makeovers for the ladies, as well as head and neck massages for the gentlemen. Raphael told me about their services and work within the community. So, Raphael, why come here? What makes you guys different than uh, every other salon? Yeah, uh, You know, we are a family-owned business. You know, we're, we're like Cheers. Everybody knows your name. You know, it's 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 my home. When you come in here, we want to make you feel at home and want to feel invited, and it's experience. Tell us the kind of services that you do here. Well, we are specialized in hair cutting, hair coloring, and makeup touch-ups. We do a lot of makeup touch-ups. We do a lot of weddings. We do a lot of like family events for portraits and things. So we're really basically your precision hair cutting and hair care salon. So Raphael, what keeps your customers coming back? Well, you have to exceed the guest expectations. When our guests come in, we really try to pamper them and make them feel special. They really want them to know that it's all about them. It's all about making the guests feel special and giving them, exceeding their expectations when they come in, really treating them. Like what's, what's the latest trends going on now? It's the holidays. What are you seeing for people with hair? Well, trends are always big and extensions are really big also for the holidays. Holidays, extent, hair extensions are big. Hair color is really big. You know, we're still doing a lot of fun, trendy hair color. You know, you're still seeing a lot of like green hair, pink hair, you know, some fun, you know, purple hair, all the fun. But uh, short hair is always big with me. We love short hair. Well, we're here for Toys for Tots and you guys are giving us a 
very generous donation. You really give back to the community. Tell us about that. Well, it's all about giving back. You know that, Renee. There's a lot of people that are, that are not as fortunate as we are. And so we like to do canned uh, food drives. We like to give back for Toys for Tots. And just anytime we can give back to the community with any type of fundraisers. You know, Earth Month's a big fundraiser for us. We do a big Earth Month celebration every year to celebrate uh, Earth Month. So it's all about giving back to people that are not as fortunate as we are, Renee. How do we find out more? Do you have a website? Yes, we are. We're located at Raphael Studio. Com. I would say we're located right in the heart of Clintonville. We're at 2927 North High Street. Win one of three family four packs of tickets to COSI and their brand new planetarium by telling us on the ONA Facebook page the names of the holiday themed shows at the COSI Planetarium this holiday season. With our guests feeling relaxed and rejuvenated, we hustle downtown to just outside of German Village to visit Katarina LTD and their enormous selection of fine European housewares and collectibles. Catherine Adams told me more about their fantastic selection. So Catherine, what are we going to find at Katarina's? Well, everything we have we bring in from Europe, so it's all imported, made in Europe either by hand or by some time-tested tradition. Well, people come from all over to shop here because there's certain things they just can't find anywhere else. Let's talk about some of those things. Yeah, some of those things are our Italian ceramics. We bring in Italian ceramics from uh, all over Italy and it's hand-painted. We have the full sets and you just can't find that um, anywhere else in Central Ohio. We also have an exclusive on a few things from Europe, like our tapestry purses, which are behind me here. These are actually made in Paris by the Royal Tapisserie. It's the company that actually made the tapestries for the kings and queens of France. Now you have a whole floor dedicated to Christmas items, I understand. Well, we do. We actually have a, a, a European Christmas room upstairs. We have it year-round, all the, the German nutcrackers and the smokers and the hand-carved um, pyramids from Germany. So they're really beautiful and they're hard to find other places. What are some popular gift things that are unique and you can't find anywhere else? We've got a line of lavender body care that um, you can't find anywhere else in the United States. It's the true lavender that has all the healing compounds. We have a lot of linens, so people are giving you know, placemats and napkins and things like that. These European linens are so well made that they last for generations. So let's talk about these special wine glasses. What do they do? Well, Lanny's showing, he's testing, he's testing them right now. They aerate wine in under two minutes in the glass, so you don't have to put it in a decanter, you don't have to wait 20 minutes for your glass, you just pour your glass of wine and it aerates and it tastes so much better. Tell us where you're located and do you have a website? We do have a website. The website is KatarinaLTD.com and we're here at the corner of Back and Third in German Village. It's The address is 571 South Third Street. So Jason, what was your favorite part about tonight? Uh, my favorite part about tonight was going to Katarina's and seeing the ornaments that came from another country. Um, being German and seeing the ornaments that came from their glass ornaments that they brought in was very unique to, to Columbus. Thank you so much for coming tonight. It's been a pleasure to hang out with you. Absolutely. I've had a blast. Yeah. Thank you very much. So Nate, give me one of your favorite holiday memories. Um, probably one that happens every year. Um, since I was a little kid, I always bake cookies with my family. Like around the holidays, make a ton of them, give them out to friends. As we wrapped up the shopping portion of our night on the town, we visited State and Third Boutique. I learned more about the emphasis on supporting local businesses and products from Becky Brisker. So Becky, what kinds of things are we going to find here at State and Third? You'll find all local and U.S. made artisan um, product. Uh, I have vendors from New York to South Dakota, but a lot of local. What are your popular items right now during the holidays? Oh, um, my most popular items are the string art, the wine corks, bottle openers, soaps, um, just really easy gifts that can kind of go to all demographics and ages. So I've noticed you have a lot of things from Ohio. Tell us about that. Um, I have a lot of apparel, artwork, uh, I mean even down to ornaments, and those are some of my most popular items. Uh, people love to give handmade and locally made 
So even with the travelers, when they come through, they like to just pick up something that's made by a local artisan. So I've noticed you've got a lot of beautiful artwork. Tell us about that. We have one local lady, Cindy Michelli, and she does the beautiful panel downtown skyline scenes. And um, we have another local artist, Will Wong Yi, and he does our classic street art. So um, he'll go and set up his canvas and just paint on site. Tell me a little bit about the jewelry. Is this all handmade? Mostly. It, well, actually, it, it is all handmade. Um, most of our vendors here are local, so they use a lot of found pieces, vintage pieces. Um, right now I have about six ladies that make them, and then one lady that lives in Florida that makes them for us. Well, where can people find you, and do you have a website? Um, they can find me at the Shops at Capitol Square, and I do have a website. It's www.statenthird.com. So, Ava, what is your favorite part of tonight? Well, I love going to the Fantasy of Lights, and we had Christmas music playing, so that was wonderful. And getting a mini makeup was fun, makeover. And just meeting new people and having a great time. What would you say is your favorite holiday memory? Um, my last Christmas with my mother down here in Columbus. Then she passed away, so that was the final one. What can you recall that was really special about it? We took her to a lot of restaurants and got her a lot of great food. But that's what Christmas is all about, spending time with the people we love. Absolutely, and I wish I could do it more often. Feeling good? It must be Skyline time. Stop by the ONA Facebook page and tell us why Skyline gets you feeling good to win a gift pack from Skyline Chili. Well, we had a great time with our friends out and about at night, but unfortunately we missed this chef at Latitude 41. So we're back today to find out more about what's going on at Latitude 41. Chef Ben Gelser told me more about their new menu and his use of local ingredients. So Ben, tell us what's exciting here at Latitude 41. Well, we like to, you know, we like to change things up every day. Um, I think that's the most exciting thing. Uh, coming up, we have uh, New Year's Eve. We're doing a nice tasting menu um, for that. So, let's talk about the menu. What kinds of things can we expect to find when we come here? Well, starting about the first of the year, we really want to get back to basics and, and really focus on the local, um, the local and sustainable movement. Um, you know, the nice thing about uh, the nice thing about Latitude is that we can change the menu every day. So, um, I really plan on doing that um, and just really bring whatever the season brings us. So, talk about what your favorite thing is on the menu. Right now, we have a really nice beet salad. We're using some uh, local beets. They're from up near Cleveland, um, so I really like that. I really like the flavor of beets in the in the winter. Nice hearty, uh, a nice hearty salad, and uh, and we have a a braised pork shank. Um, that's one of my favorites. That's something I always kind of bring with me in every every uh, menu that I write. So, um, yeah, those are my two favorites right now. So what? ingredients inspire your cooking? Well I really like to keep it in, within the season so um, right now you know a lot of winter root vegetables and and some darker heartier meats and dishes um, you know really I do get I get inspired by something that you know anything that I haven't used before I like to play around with new things and and um, kind of go that direction so um, but again we like to keep it in season and uh, you know whatever I can get fresh locally uh, in, in, in within the season is, is kind of where I, the direction I go. So you mentioned you guys are doing something for New Year's Eve. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, we're open for regular dinner service. Um, we'll be serving uh, pizzas and bar food a little bit later than usual that night. Um, we have a, a six-course tasting menu that's available. and it's, I've kind of made that so I've, it's a really a chance for me to shine and, and kind of show off a little bit in my new position. So how can we find you and find out more? Well, we're located in the Renaissance Hotel downtown, 50 North 3rd Street. Um, our website, latitude41restaurant.com, and we are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and any other social media outlets. If you've missed any of today's show, you can watch it online anytime, onacolumbus.com. For the latest information about the show and exclusive behind-the-scenes content, follow us on Twitter. That's at onacbus or twitter.com forward slash onacbus. Well, we want to thank the many businesses that participated in Out on the Town, and of course, we raised a lot of toys for kids that may be less fortunate here at Christmas. That's really the meaning of Christmas for us, is seeing them have a great Christmas. Well, after this night out, we decided to stop by some of the restaurants and places you might enjoy during the holidays. Have a look at this. Well, Miller's Columbus Ale House has been in the Columbus area 
for just about a year now. And if you haven't tried this place, you have got to give it a shot. We stopped by and talked to Ashley Montgomery about some of the wonderful food, the platters, and some of the great times that you can have here at Miller's Columbus Ale House. The place is beautiful, obviously, but it has a real warm feeling to it. Describe for our viewers what you guys are trying to accomplish here. We really wanted to just make it feel like a warm, neighborhood-friendly restaurant where you can really come as you are and have whatever kind of experience that you want, whether it's dinner out with your family or watching the game with your friends, maybe happy hour after work with some coworkers, celebrating a special event, whatever it is that you're looking for. We've got like all the different seating areas that kind of can accommodate that for you. You know what? I don't think I've ever seen this many TV screens in any place I've ever been. Yeah, it's pretty overwhelming, but it's great too because wherever you sit, you have a good spot view of the game. There's um, 60 to 80 TVs in all of our restaurants, um, and there's a variety of sporting events that are on. So whether whatever it is that you're into, whether it's racing, golf, football, whatever the big game is of the week, that's there. And then also because we have so many TVs, even if you're maybe the the lone uh, I don't know Tampa Bay Bucks fan or something over here in Columbus, we'll find you a spot to be able to catch your game as well. I come down 3:15 a lot, so I, I come by here. I actually saw this place being built. And, you know, it, I thought it was a local Columbus restaurant. And now I come to find out how many restaurants do you have nationally? We actually have 70 restaurants in 10 states. But that's our goal is, you know, yes, we do have a large chain, but we, we want to be a part of the Columbus community. So we want everyone here to feel like this is their Miller's Ale House, which is why the name says Col- Miller's Columbus Ale House. Well, actually, let's learn a little bit about the food here at uh, Miller's Columbus Ale House. Well, what's really surprising about our menu, I think that a lot of people don't realize, is that it's not just your typical bar food. You know, I mean, of course we have great stuff like nachos and chicken wings and burgers and all of those amazing things that you love when you think about when you're watching football. But we also have asabuco, prime rib, um, skirt steak, amazing salads, um, seafood, lobster, crab legs. Um, everything is fresh. So my personal favorite is our zingers. It's hand-rolled chicken that's been lightly fried. And we have 13 different sauces you can choose to have it tossed in. And I also see you have jambalaya here. Yes, and that I'm actually from New Orleans, so I can give it the authentic stamp of approval uh, that it is really fantastic. And we have that available not just for here in the restaurant, but for party platters that you can take home um, as well. And that's a really great item. It's always a crowd pleaser, and it's kind of something unique that you don't usually see. So that's really nice as well. Well, where can we learn more information? You guys got a website? We do. It's um, www.millersalehouse.com. Hey, Ashley, it sounds wonderful. I got to come down here and give us a place to try myself. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you so much. Win one of three family four-packs of tickets to COSI and their brand new planetarium by telling us on the ONA Facebook page the names of the holiday-themed shows at the COSI Planetarium this holiday season. Featuring locally sourced food, craft beers, and cocktails, the Crest Gastro Pub on Indianola is the perfect place to enjoy good company and good food. Tom told me more about the fantastic food and upcoming events. So Tom, the Crest Gastro Pub is a little bit of a different uh, concept. Give us an idea a little bit about that. Well, we take more of a holistic approach to restaurants. So um, we incorporate our urban farm, which we have in the edge of Italian Village, which is under development right now, as well as local producers and distributors. Um, So we like to be local friendly and just kind of have a different motivation to everything we do here. We uh, feature great food and great beer, but above that, we want to be, you know, an asset to our community in everything we do. You have a beautiful patio up on the roof, which is very different. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we, we have these uh, gardens all around uh, our outside patio and then our rooftop patio. Uh, we grow uh, herbs and stuff for our cocktails. We use them for specials and different features. Um, it's just a, really an asset for something that we, d- we do differently than everybody else. So let's talk a little bit about what we're going to find when we get here. What type of food do you serve? Well, it's a little bit of everything. It's it's it, we're a gastro pub, so we kind of have a fresh take on you know burgers, but then we go above and beyond that, where we have a little bit of your heartier food like uh, pot pie, but then we still feature some fancy steaks and just a little bit a little bit different than uh, than your average gastro pub. You've got some events coming up that we need to talk about. Tell us about those. Yeah, we're going to be open for Christmas Eve brunch. We're going to open till 3 o'clock. We'll be open at 9 o'clock, and we'll feature our brunch menu till 3. After that, we're going to close and 
be close Christmas. Um, and then New Year's Eve, we're going to feature Three Floyds, which is a really a great brewery. We're going to have nine beers on tap and a special menu for that evening. Um, and we'll, we'll be taking reservations. We don't normally take reservations, but for New Year's Eve, we'll be taking reservations. And then New Year's Day, we'll be doing a brunch as well. Nice. So where can we find you? Uh, we're at 2855 Indianola Avenue. We're just right in the heart of Clintonville. How else can we contact you? Um, we have a website. It's thecrestgostropub.com, and we're also on Facebook at The Crest. If you've missed any of today's show, you can watch it online anytime, onacolumbus.com. For the latest information about the show and exclusive behind-the-scenes content, follow us on Twitter. That's at onacbus or twitter.com forward slash onacbus. Feeling good? It's Skyline time. While you're out doing your last minute holiday gift shopping, swing into Skyline, enjoy a delicious meal, and pick up some gift cards for those last minute people on your list. Scott and I talked about cheese conies, three ways, and so much more. Tell us what makes your food so unique. Well, we have two signature dishes that are very unique, a three way and a cheese coney. A three-way is a bed of spaghetti with our secret recipe chili on it with grated shredded, shredded cheese over the top of it. And you can make that a four-way four -way by adding beans or onions, a five-way beans and onions. The cheese coney is one of our best sellers. And uh, you need to come in if you're a first-time customer and try one of our signature items. One of my favorite things about coming to Skyline is the people that work here. Tell us about that. We've been serving Columbus for over 30 years. We make your food here at the steam table behind us. Um, our servers try to be hospitable and quick so that the table service experience makes you feel even better than when you came in. Um, one of the unique things that we give you right before you eat is crackers. And you can add hot sauce to that to kind of kick it up a notch. Those crackers are delicious, I have to say. So tell us about some of the new items that you have on the menu. Um, well, we have some vegetarian items. Um, our Greek salad is one of our number one selling vegetarian items. We also have black beans and rice, and that is like a vegetarian uh, chili that you can have, you can substitute for any of the items that have chili on them on our menu. And then we also have a deluxe black bean burrito. Now, are all the Skylines owned by Skyline or are there franchises? Well, here in Columbus, most of the restaurants are owned by corporate, but my particular location here in Dublin on Sawmill Road is owned by our family, the Redwine family, and we'll be opening a new location by campus in 2015 so that we can serve our campus area um, fans there. Well, it is the holidays. Do you have any promotions going on? Yeah, for the holidays, um, it's available if you come in, you can get a $25 gift card and you'll get a free $5 gift certificate uh, with that that you can either keep for yourself or give that as a gift. So tell us how we can find out more about Skyline and even possibly look at a menu. Um, get online, go to SkylineChili.com and you can find one of the 13 area locations here in Columbus. And tell us where you're located. We're on Sawmill uh, here, uh, Sawmill Road in the Dublin area. Feeling good? It must be Skyline time. Stop by the ONA Facebook page and tell us why Skyline gets you feeling good to win a gift pack from Skyline Chili. Whether you're looking for meat and cheese platters for your Christmas dinner or a great last minute gift, Utsi's Market has all of it. And we talked to Greg Utsi about the price point and how reasonable these beautiful baskets are. Last minute gifts are typically just a real headache for people. And the good news is you've got some solutions here, right? Right, yeah, we, we make up all kinds of baskets. Uh, fruit baskets, you can get straight fruit. You can add trail bologna or some cheese to them. Uh, just a great gift to bring in. Uh, put some boxes together, uh, some other trays with some nuts and things in them. Um, the good thing about this, we have a base price of a fruit basket of $22 for a large one. And that's not full of paper in the bottom. It, fruit goes all the way down. It's a he not good, heavy basket. And then from that price, you can add, you know, the trail baloney rings or the, the little cracker cuts or crackers with that. These baskets make a great gift. They really do. So, you know, that price point, that, that's, an, that's an incredible last minute gift. How much time do we have to give you to get these ready for us though? Well, this last week or few days here heading into Christmas, we'll have some made up ahead of time. But if you can order a day ahead, that'd be great. Uh, call in, you know, like I said, you can get straight fruit or give us a price point that you want to be at and we'll be there for you. Obviously holiday parties, Christmas parties, all that's going on, and this is a place to come and get the meat and cheese trays, right? That's right. We, As always, we've got our large meat and cheese trays, $34. Uh, order a day ahead, and you get three kinds of meat, three kinds of cheese, and you can choose the meat and cheese. Um, you know, everybody likes something different, so pick what you want. Yeah. You know, last time we were out here, 
always something new and innovative at UC's market, and you had the hydroponics, which basically, for people that don't know what that means, it basically growing inside, and you're actually growing lettuce inside. Right, and that's something, yeah, we had the equipment together last time you were here. I don't think we had anything planted yet, uh, and as you can see, we're, we're about four weeks in, and the lettuces pr probably need about two to three more weeks till we harvest, uh, but it's, it's just great to walk in that door. We got some bright lights on, you see something green growing, boy, it gives your, your a little boost of energy. Yeah. Now you, you're you getting ready to set up another hydroponic stand, right? And you're going to do some other things. Yeah, we're going to build another one the same size. And we're going to use that more to experiment with. We're going to try some basil and some spinach, uh, microgreens, which is just shoots of lettuce. And, and all that's just going to be fresh. It's going to be a great thing. Yeah, well, I tell you, always something innovative here. It's great. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Greg. Where does people find you? We're just south of Plain City off of Route 42 on Commerce F Road. If you've missed any of today's show, you can watch it online anytime, onacolumbus.com. For the latest information about the show and exclusive behind-the-scenes content, follow us on Twitter. That's at onacbus or twitter.com forward slash onacbus. Well, the holidays are about upon us, and of course, there's someone in your family that might have a hearing problem. Well, we got a solution for you. We talked to Greg Van Horsen of Absolute Hearing Solutions, and not only can you get a great deal every day, but he's got some special holiday savings for you as well. One of the best things you could give somebody is if they're hearing, having hearing problems, would, would be that gift. And what a wonderful gift to give them into Christmas time. Let's talk a little bit about hearing aids. You know, everybody's seen the big clunky ones that hang over the back of your ear. That's just not the case anymore, is it? No, they've come, actually come full circle now. Even back about eight years ago, they really started making a nice transition where the bigger ones, and now they're, they're much smaller behind the ear, so you really can't see them. There's small wires. And for the person that says, oh, absolutely, I just don't want to have anything behind my ear, now they've actually gone even smaller where they actually become invisible even inside the ear. Yeah. So there's pros and cons to each one, but it, it fit a lot more people. And before even, even the 50-year-olds, we hardly even fit even hearing aids with them. Now more of them are even coming out because they're still at work, professional. So we're fitting a lot of people in their 30s, their 40s, and their 50s where we just didn't do that before because they didn't, they didn't want anybody noticing anything behind their ear or even down in their ear. Tell us how you, how you can get away with great pricing and stuff when the other guys can't. Well, they, anybody can get give better pricing they just choose not to do that when we opened up six years ago we decided to how can we be different customer service and then have not charging the same price as everybody else and i already knew what they kind of charged so we just set certain price points and did some agreements within many manufacturers just not one or two on some good pricing and we're actually probably the lowest maybe in the country but definitely for sure the midwest and in, in, in the exact same hearing aid. so whenever you're comparing hearing aids you want to just compare one aspect of a hearing aid like a, a band or how many bands it is what is the exact chip and that's that's what you want to compare what is it what is this chip on this model and this manufactured and what what am i getting in for the for that price and that's that's the most important part because people can play some games of well here's something similar <laughs> well no that's not even close to being similar it has similar in this area here but that hearing aid costs a lot less that's what you were charged much less for that we test their hearing we go through several speech and then tones and depending on what that tells us and how the brain's interpreting speech we just go from there so i understand you have a special offer for our viewers that can save a few extra dollars during the holiday season oh yeah in addition to our normal or sales price we have some some christmas bonus ones and if they mention this video or through your commercials that we'll go also give them an additional 10 percent off our lowest price right now through the end of the year that's fantastic. Well, Greg, happy holidays and uh, happy new year. Yes, thank you. Well, as we wind down a year, it's been very successful here at Out and About Columbus. And that's thanks to you, our viewers. And from all of us here at Out and About Columbus, we want to say happy, happy holidays. holidays.